What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to another episode of Spark Your Life. I'm here with Lucy. If you guys saw in our last video or two, we got a little baby puppy. Lucy! Lucy! Say hi, Lucy! So this is Lucy. She's an Australian cattle dog. She's been a very good puppy. She's going to stay inside here. And I'm going to show you the updates on the house. So we've had a lot of updates on the house since you guys last saw it. <coughs> First and foremost, I'd like to show you guys these green stickers. And those green stickers are the approvals on the electrical, plumbing, and uh, mechanical permits. So, as you can see, we've started some insulation. So you, if you guys didn't see or would like to see us ripping out all the insulation, click on the link above and I'll show you that video of me and a bunch of my buddies going around and <clears throat> ripping out everything. Now we're putting it all back. So as you can see, we started insulating. We're going to keep insulating today and try to finish the house today. We've got about half of it done. Uh, I'll give you a little tour of what's been the update. So. We've got our piping all done, our electrical all done. This is the bathroom. That's where the toilet's going to go. Here's the uh, shower sink combo. Backing up here. Uh, this is the one of the first just main bedrooms. Closet there. We've got our duct doll in and insulated in. Over here is the master closet. And I'll we'll cut through here is our master bedroom. So if you guys don't remember when we were tearing out this house, this was a bedroom. Uh, that was the old floor of the bathroom. That was another bedroom. That was a bedroom. And there was this like hole here. So we filled in the hole and covered it all up. There's duct in there now, as you can see, and insulated it all. It's be a nice big master bedroom. So I'm going to show you. Let me see this. So. Here's our attic. We put in a uh, some screen on that gable vent. I'm not sure when the last time you guys saw it was, but we put some lights up here, some smoke detectors. As you can see, here's duct coming through here, a vent outside. There's a drain over there on the floor. We're actually gonna have our furnace right here. So we're putting our furnace in the attic. So not really much else to see up here. Um, can you guys see over that way? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't really have a flashlight, but there's a duct that starts right here and it goes all the way in the back, all the way to that other side. And what that does is feeds the whole house. So, take you back down through here. We'll go check out the basement. We've changed a little bit to the basement. Um, I'll show you the kitchen first. So, here's kind of our layout. So, what's going to be is we're going to have nine inch cabinet stove there's gonna be counters right here our fridge is gonna be right here right up against uh, this board here and then there's just gonna be some cabinets and uh, drawers in there on this side we're going to have nothing right there we're gonna have our sink right below this uh, window if you guys didn't see I think there's a video of us uh, actually bringing this window up and doing the first masonry so that's for our kitchen sink dishwasher and then we're gonna have a peninsula that comes out here, a little bar top, and then cabinets overhead. So, not a massive kitchen, but it'll be nice. <coughs> so I'll take you guys into the basement. You can see all the changes we've done in the basement. Let me trip on that, kill myself. Just turn this light on right here, and here. All right. <coughs> so we're here in the basement, there's the stairs. So we actually went ahead and we're going to finish the sides of these stairs. So we put boards here and boards here so it'll be nice and finished. Uh, we came around and this is my dad's idea. We kind of opened up underneath the stairwell. So you'll actually be able to like kind of go in here and for storage and whatnot. This is going to all be our mechanical well. I'll go over that in a second. So we've got a living area kind of like a bedroom area we've got our closet right there a nice big closet and then we did end up putting in a bathroom I don't know if I showed you guys this last time but we ended up putting in a half bath here what we did is we found this uh, I think it's called a Santa flow 
pump so the toilet kind of just goes out back and it's all pumped up into our sewer so there's gonna this is gonna kind of be as you can kind of see right here kind of just a towel closet and we've got all of our natural gas done water hot and cold water now i'm not going to be touching i'll have to separate that and then all of our plumbing down so i'll take you back in here so right here it's pretty much stayed the same um we're not really going to touch this i did put a uh, light in there two or two lights in here and a smoke detector but not really much is going to change here we were going to dig this all out but it just wasn't worth the money and what we think we can get for the house so we're not going to do that so there's a little bit of piping in here for the kitchen and the bathroom upstairs but other than that not much is going to change in there it's going to be pretty much storage pretty much um storage and still the michigan basement so <clears throat> i'll take you over to our mechanical wall um oh we did replace these windows so we got some nice new windows that open so you can see they open kind of nice they bring in a lot of good fresh air that'll be helpful so these will be new then we have our washer dryer set up so there's our vent for our dryer here's our washer box and then we're going to hang our tankless water heater right here our uh, water softener and there's another one as you can see as we put in and then we've got um, the well it's actually really really fresh water so we're not going to redo the well or anything but we do have a new tank and a new pump this one works just fine but with a brand new um house you gotta have a brand new well so i want to show you the guys this this is where my dad's expertise is at check this out so this is probably the nicest electric electrical box i've ever seen this is my old man's work so as you can see each switch so what he did is he cut off he cut off a chunk of this sleeve and he ran it down and he ran it through that first so you can see he ran it through then he stubbed it in so like this is our well boom it's labeled right here a lot of times you'll see doors and you won't even be able to see writing on it. He took a Sharpie marker and he labeled each one of them. So it's nice and clear. We'll also match the door to do the same thing. But he's a little bit of an expert and a little ADD when it comes to that. So that's a good thing. So remember there was a hole right there that went into the master bedroom. And this was all kind of just boxed out. We're actually going to drywall this area. So all this will be drywalled. <coughs> I believe. I think that we said that. They're all going to be drywalled or it will just be that. We'll be drywalled and we'll be good to go. I'm pretty sure we're drywalling this whole room though. Except for the block. The block will just stay. We'll probably just paint the block and uh, go from there. So I'll take you guys through this back door here. If I can open it. All right. <clears throat> So there you have it guys there's a uh, another little quick walk through we're gonna go ahead and insulate the rest of the day today and then drywall we got to finish insulating this week because drywall is gonna start on Friday we actually have a guy coming out to do the drywall we're not gonna be doing it ourselves just because it's not the easiest thing to mud and tape and it kind of takes a special person to do that so we could hang the drywall but even all the drywallers say if you're not mudding it you shouldn't hang it so that'll be done next week, and I'll show you guys the update on that. This house is going to look totally different once that drywall comes in. So, Hi, Lucy. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment below and get a hold of our other videos. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another episode of Spark Your Life. Bye. Bye, Lucy.